الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله I decided to start due to my busy schedule and commitments a series for the holy month of Ramadan which is steadily approaching coming near and I've decided to entitle it the 2017 Ramadan for the heart so during this Ramadan more than likely I will not speak about the ahkam or the rulings of Ramadan which you can find in some of the previous lectures that I've given and many of the students of knowledge and ulama there's so much translated material and so much material out there in video form and audio form and in book form that it is more than sufficient and so I decided for my own benefit and the benefit of my brothers and sisters to try to focus this Ramadan on affairs of the heart and that means that in this series I will talk about benefits of Ramadan in general of fasting uh, and the benefits going through some tafsir and other things that will just be benefit from the book of Allah and the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and in accordance with the minhaj of the Salaf al-Salih and in the beginning or to begin this series we'll begin by talking about mafhum as-siyam what does it mean to fast and as a linguistic term and coming from some uh, verses in the Quran Lughatin al-imsak you call Sama Nahar Id Wakaba Sir Shams Kala Allahu Ta'ala Ikbarin an Maryam Inni Nadartu li Rahman Soman Ay Somta Tay So fasting as a linguistic term it refers to restraining and in this first ayah in referring it is in reference to fasting during the day and in this regard Allah the Almighty says about Maryam alayha salatu was salam that she said inni nadhartu li rahman soman verily I made this vow for Ar-Rahman to fast and fasting here is not in reference to the fasting shir'in that we are accustomed to that is as a sharia term that is we will get into very shortly but this fasting is in reference to Al-Kalam in reference to restraining her speech and what affirms for us Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al-kareem falan ukallama yawma in siya that she said I will not speak this day to any any person and this is ala itlaq this is uh, an absolute statement meaning it's it's general that no one she will speak to no one that day and so that shows us the meaning of psalm as a linguistic term not the psalm the fasting that we're accustomed to but that is the imsak or the restraining from speech and as a sharia term it refers one of these statements as the ulama have many ibarat or many statements in reference but we'll just look at a couple 
or in fact we'll just suffice ourselves with one because I think it's sufficient that we we know and understand uh, fasting. Huwa ibaratun an imsak makhsus wa imsak imsak an al-akli wa shurbi wa al-jima'i min al-subhi ila al-maghribi ma'aniya So this is very important. One of the definitions from amongst the many definitions that the ulama mentioned but I think this is sufficient for us to understand what fasting is in Islam is that Som <coughs> Som <coughs> it is a term used to refer to as we said imsak to refrain but a special as, as the uh, the one who defined the terminology says مخصوص, a specified type of refraining and then he goes on and gives us the details and it is refraining from eating and drinking and sexual relations من subhi from the, the morning so in the from Fajr, from when the sun begins to rise, the first uh, sign of the sun rising, إلى المغرب, to the sun, the first signs of the sun setting. And the last part of this, ma'aniya, with the intention. So very important, because Ramadan is coming to make your niya, and we'll probably get into those ahadith which mention that specifically. That it's very important because Ramadan is the wajib fast and it is imperative that you make your intention before you begin fasting. <coughs> and from that we'll just mention <coughs> a couple of, we'll begin some of the benefits of fasting. From the Fada'il as or the fada'il al-siyam wa khasa'isihi from the benefits of fasting and its specified or its its its, its specialness one of the benefits that mentions with it uh, about about uh, fasting as-siyam min al-a'mal allati yu'iddu Allah biha al-maghfira will ajr azim li qawli allah ta'ala inna al muslimin wal muslimat wal mu'minin wal mu'minat wal qanitin wal qanitat wal sadiqin wa sadiqat wa sadiqat wa sabirin wa sabirat wal khashi'in wal khashi'at wa mutasaddiqin wa mutasaddiqat wa sa'imin wa sa'imat Will have a lean of Rujahum, will have a that, will that he lean a law a cathedra, will that he rat. I add the law whom of Firaton were Ajiran Alima. In this beautiful ayah in Surah Al Ahzab, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Verily, the Muslims, <coughs> those who submit to Allah and Islam, from amongst the men and the women, the believing men and the believing women, the men and the women who are obedient, the men and the women who are truthful in their speech, the men and the women who are patient, performing all the duties which Allah has ordered, and in abstaining from all that Allah has forbidden, the men and the women who are humble, the men and the women who give sadaqah, the men and the women who observe the fast, the obligatory fast, the Holy Mother Ramadan, <coughs> the men and the women who guard their chastity, and the men and the women who remember Allah much with their hearts and their tongues, or praying extra uh, prayers. Allah has prepared for them forgiveness and a great reward. In this ayat, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned the benefit 
of this great deed of fasting and mention that the one who does this will receive maghfiratan wa ajran azima will receive forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and immense reward a reward we can't even begin to count and one of the rewards of that of course is jinnah and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned the believing men and the believing women <clears throat> the Muslim men and the Muslim women, the believing men and the believing women. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made a distinction in this ayat between Muslim and Mu'min. The one, the Muslim who does their deeds, but they have shortcomings in their iman and in their wajib. And the ulama speak extensively about those differences. Whereas the Mu'min is a higher level of Iman. This person has a higher level of Iman, staying away from the Muharramat, doing the Wajibat, so they, they stay away from the prohibited things, and they do the obligatory things, and they do extra. And then Allah, Allah also mentioned the Muhsineen, wa Muhsanat, but not in this ayat, but letting us know that there are different levels of Iman. We're not all in the same. There's the Muslim, and there is the Mu'min. And there's the Muhsin. And they're on different lay levels and grades of Iman. And hopefully we'll have a chance to talk about that more extensively during this holy month of Ramadan. When, it, when we get into some of our sittings. But the Shahid, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also mentions those who give, in, give charity. Those who are patient. Those who fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Al-Khashi'ina, they have humility before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Al Mutasaddiqina, they give in their charity. They give. Asaimina wa sa'imat. And this is the shahid. This is the point of mentioning this ayat. Is those who fast, the, belie the, the, the believing men who fast and the believing women who fast, that they will receive immense reward and they will receive maghfira, forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we all need forgiveness from Allah azza wa jal. Another benefit of fasting, asiyam khair lil muslim. Wano kana ya'lam li kouli lahi ta'ala wa an tasumu khairan lakum in kuntum ta'alamun. Fasting is excellent for the muslim, uh, is full of benefit for the muslim if they only knew. So fasting regularly, and of course especially because it's an obligation during the holy month of Ramadan to make sure you fast the holy month of Ramadan. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in this regard, and if you fast, it is better for you if only you but knew. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is letting us know that fasting,